Over the past few years, we at Just A Drop have been developing our menstrual health programme around the world. The World Bank estimates that 500 million women and girls worldwide do not have access to adequate menstrual products, so we support communities by teaching them to make reusable pads. Here in Kenya, at Muru Wa Yitungu community, women start by measuring the cloth to make sure none goes to waste. Then it's tracing and cutting the fabric to the outline of the pads. Then cutting around the trace line to create the fabric layer of the pad. Tidying up the edges and separating the layers. Here women are cutting the absorbent toweling layer that goes in the middle of the pad. This will go between the soft fabric interior layer and the waterproof plastic exterior layer. Then the pads go to the overlocking machine where they're tightly sewn together to make one reusable sanitary pad. These ladies are then in charge of tidying up the edges of the cloth. Finally, they attach the poppers, which secure the pad. Quite delicate work. And there you have it. It's such a simple process which can be replicated thousands of times over by communities all around the world. With these pads, women and girls can continue to work and study while they have their periods, which contributes to Sustainable Development Goal 5, Gender Equality. Such a simple item can help communities to develop untold amounts, and by supporting Just A Drop, you can help to ensure that women and girls around the world have access to menstrual products that they need. Please visit www.justadrop.org to find out how you can support the move towards a period-friendly world.